later. Got to fix my camera here, boys and girls. Hello, how are you guys doing today? Today we are going to read a story that is a fiction fake fantasy story. It's a story that could never, ever, ever, ever happen in real life. Never, ever, ever. And it's about one of my favorite things. Cupcakes. <laughs> I love them so much. I love to eat them. Um, and it's also got some animals in it. So it'll be interesting to see what these animals do with these cupcakes. I hope they get to eat them. Don't you all? <laughs> Our story for this week is called A Cupcake Party. And it's written and illustrated by David McPhail. See if I can straighten that out a little bit. There we go. David McPhail wanted to be a baseball player when he was growing up, but he wasn't good at sports. And next, Mr. McPhail wanted to play guitar in a band. Finally, he went to art school, and he was great at drawing pictures and writing stories. So sometimes it takes us a while to find out what we're good at, but everybody's good at a few things, okay? And like I said before, this story is called Fantasy. Can you all say fantasy? Fantasy, and it's a story that could never, ever happen in real life. So usually you have some made up things that aren't real, or you have animals talking and behaving like people and just stuff like that that could never ever happen. And as we're reading, as you read any story, you need to be like making a movie of it up in your head to make sure that you're understanding what's happening in the story as you read it. Um, so let's try to do that and we'll talk about the setting. The setting is your when and your where the story takes place. The characters are your main people or animals or robots or whatever the story is about and the events in the story and usually there's going to be some kind of problem in the story too so think about if you can find all those things in a cupcake party i miss my friends fritz said i must have a big party <coughs> Fritz had a list of friends to ask to his party. Oh, look at this. He's made a nice organized list so he doesn't forget anyone. So where's the setting right now? It's in Fritz's house. What was Fritz's problem? He misses his friends, doesn't he? Fritz went to ask Kit. I will come, Kit said. It will be grand. Fritz went to ask Jack next. Jack said yes. A party is fine, Jack said. Now, what is Fritz? Fritz is a what? Cat. And what is Jack? Jack is a dog, right? Fritz met Fran and Stan at a tree stump. Fran and Stan said yes, too. So one of these must be Fran and one of them must be Stan. <laughs> they have rhyming names. Now, can animals really talk like that? And could one animal make a list and invite other animals to his party? Um, no, that's why we call it a fantasy. Fritz went to ask Glenn last. I will not miss it, Glenn said. And Glenn is a what? Bear. Fritz baked cupcakes to give to his friends. He put a small picture on every one. Oh my gosh, look how delicious. And that one looks like a cat. And then we've got a bear and then a bird. Oh my gosh, he's drawing the, his friends on his cupcakes. How talented is he? Fritz felt glad to see his friends. Take the cupcake with a picture of you on it, Fritz said. Mm. I hope I have one of my picture on it. 
His friends had a snack for Fritz, too. Oh, look, what did they bring for Fritz? They brought him an acorn, didn't he? Yum! Now we can eat and have fun, Fritz said. So now the setting started out where? It started out in Fritz's house, but then it went out to all these other characters' houses, out in the woods or wherever they're staying, out in the woods. So sometimes your setting can change, can it? How long do you think this story took to make it? Like for him to go out, make his list, go out and ask all these friends and then bake cupcakes. That would probably take a day, wouldn't it? At least. Um, and what did he do? His problem was he missed his friends. How did he solve that problem? He invited them all over to his house. Now he would have to invite them to his backyard because we have that old coronavirus. But this story was written before that. So, and look, they even brought him a little acorn. Would they be good friends to have? I think they would. Hope you like this story. See you soon. Bye.